Good morning everyone. Teaching you is always a pleasure for me. Today I am taking up the topic materials, metals and non-metals. Before we actually understand what is the difference between metals and non-metals, I want you to get introduced with the term elements. Suppose I ask you that list some of the things present around you. So your list can include hundreds of things, thousands of things and even millions of things. So there is so much variety present around you. But you will be surprised to know that all these things are actually made up of few basic substances which are less than 100 in number and which we call as elements. Children, there are 92 natural elements. 90 are appreciably found in the nature and there are some more elements which have been prepared by the scientists in the labs artificially. Now to make it more clear, yes, everything is made up of elements. I am giving you few examples. Water is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon dioxide is made up of two elements, carbon and oxygen. This is glucose and it is made up of three elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. One more example I am taking is that of air. I am not writing any formula for air because it is a mixture. Uh, it does not have any a single formula. See children, air is made up of many components and if you look at all these components, these are actually made up of different elements. Nitrogen is there, carbon, carbon dioxide is there, then oxygen is there, hydrogen is there, neon is there, chlorine is there, water vapor are present in there, so that means hydrogen and oxygen again. So air is also made up of various elements. So it, by, the, by looking at all these examples, it becomes clear, yes, everything is made up of elements. So these elements are categorized as metals and non-metals, which are different from each other. Even there are some metalloids also about which you will study later on. Now let us understand what is the difference between metals and non-metals. First of all, let us have a look at some of the examples of metals. See children, iron, copper, aluminium, gold, zinc, calcium, magnesium, these are some metals. Non-metals, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, iodine, chlorine, fluorine. So these are few examples of non-metals. Let us understand how they are different from each other. Metals are hard. You see that all these metals are solid and they are hard substances. We are familiar with most of these. If we talk of non-metals, oxygen, hydrogen, these are gases. How can they be hard? Carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, these are solid substances but they are soft. Next is metals are lustrous. That means they are shiny substances. All metals appear shiny. If you look at any piece of metal and it is looking dull, it is because of its reaction with the atmospheric gases. Otherwise, if you have any fresh piece of metal, it is always shiny in appearance. You must have seen fresh iron nails, which are so shiny. While non-metals are not lustrous, if you look at any piece of carbon, it is dull in appearance. Next property is malleability. It is a property by virtue of which metals can be beaten into thin sheets. That is why you see that metals are malleable. Here I am showing you aluminium foil and a flat piece of iron. Can we make such flat pieces out of any of the non-metals? No. So that means non-metals are non-malleable. Next property is ductility by virtue of which metals can be drawn into thin wires. So metals are ductile. You know copper and aluminium wires are used as electric wires. Gold and silver wires are used in uh, making jewellery also. Iron wires are there which are used for making wire mesh. You must have seen that in the windows and doors and even the tea strainer. But can we make any wire out of these non-metals? No. So metals are ductile while non-metals are non-ductile. Next property is sonority and yes metals are sonorous. That means on striking a hard surface, they produce a ringing sound. You must have heard this ringing sound when a coin 
falls on the floor or the steel scale or metal utensils that is steel utensils in the kitchen and even the metal bottle water bottle which you use whenever it falls on the ground you hear a ringing sound so metals are sonorous but if a piece of coal that is carbon if it falls on the ground you don't hear any ringing sound so non metals are not sonorous metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity that means they get hot quickly and also they can pass electric current through them and that is why cooking utensils are made up of metals and metals are also used for making electric wires while non metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity now i want to tell you about two more properties physical properties of metals and non metals to differentiate them yes. metals have high melting point that means metals need to be heated to a very high temperature before they start melting while non metals have low melting point last property metals have high density non metals have low density to make it more clear suppose we take a piece of iron an equal sized piece of coal that means volume is same but the mass of iron is more and the mass of this that piece of coal is less and mass per unit volume is called density in this case volume is same as i just told you but mass is coming out to be different so which makes it clear that mass per unit volume that is density of metal is more that of non metal is less so these are the differences between metals and non metals on the basis of their physical properties but there are some exceptions associated with metals and non metals so let us have a look at those exceptions also first i am telling about sodium its latin name is natrium so symbol is na then potassium its latin name is gallium so that is k so these two are metals but they can be easily cut with a knife so these are soft metals so this is something different from other metals mercury let us name hydrocarbon that is why the symbol is hg it is a metal but in liquid form so that is also again different from other metals then children are taking the example of few non metals showing the exceptions graphite its symbol is c because it is a form of carbon graphite is a good conductor of electricity and uh, you know that non metals are actually poor conductors of electricity if you cut open any cell of the torch or of the battery uh, you'll find a carbon rod inside that is actually graphite rod as it is a good conductor of electricity so it is used for making those cells diamond its symbol is also c as it is also a form of carbon and it is a non metal but it is hard next example is of iodine it is a non metal but it is lustrous so with that i hope it is clear to you about the physical properties of metals and non metals keep appreciating science have a nice day